Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance Reviews here where we give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I've got a Henry Compact here to review, which is one of the best values in terms of vacuum cleaners on the market today. Now I have his face off him. Some people, they see his silly face and they think he's not a serious cleaner. Henry is a very serious cleaner, a very powerful cleaner, a very well-built cleaner, made to last over 2,000 working hours. Henry's come from the commercial side of things, so they're really built to last. The biggest misconception I see, especially people in North America have about Henry, is its size. They seem to think it's a shot vac for some reason. It is much, much smaller, much different than a shop vac. I think you'll find that Henry's size is actually rather compact compared to some of these other cleaners here. I have a traditional Kenmore next to it and a compact C2 Mila next to it. And you can see that Henry's a little bit shorter, a little bit wider than the Mila, uh, but he is really, really small. So Henry, Henry is much more compact than a lot of people think. And I also have George, which is the biggest machine that Pneumatic makes for their home line, to give you an idea. And even George uh, makes Henry look like a dwarf. I hope this really clarifies the size of a Henry compact for you. Well, because I'm not a curmudgeon, I've put Henry's face on him, and you can see he is smiling and fun to use now. Again, if for some reason you are a curmudgeon, you don't have to use the face. I've laid out all the accessories also that Henry comes with. He comes with quite a bit. Um, let's start from the hose. The hose is tapered, which means the hose is wider at the base of the unit than it is at the hand tools. And what that does is provide higher airflow through a velocity stack. It also means the most narrow part of the hose is here at the tip, where if you get something like a bottle cap, a sock, or something stuck in it, you could get that out yourself. Very well thought out. Now, moving on, you have a handle grip right here, and this has a airflow reduction system in here. So rather than an electronic speed control, there's a bleed valve, and there's a piece of foam out of here, so it doesn't whistle like some other ones. Also, the hose can be used in, as a crevice tool with this slant on here. You have an adapter tube to put any of the Vissel work accessories right on. Yes, he comes with Vissel work accessories. So you get the same accessories that you would get on something like a Zero G or a central vacuum as well that directly attach, which is really, really nice. And the accessories just all snap on like so. Now you can also use any of the accessories on the end of the tools like so as well. He does have a small telescoping wand. This is more for the height of the user than it is to get up high. Um, so most of the time I keep the telescoping wand retracted. Then it just comes with a regular wand on here as well. One now the advantages of the way that Henry's tools are set up is you can mix match them all sorts of ways. So I find using the handle piece with the straight pipes attached like this for dusting to be an excellent solution for ceiling fans and awkward to get to tall places that I don't want to bring a ladder out. And this makes Henry very versatile compared to the competition. There's a lot of ways you can store the accessories and the tools. You can actually put the wand somewhere when you're not using it and then put your additional tools on board. So he will store very compact. If you need to store him lower in a closet, you definitely could, like I'm showing you right now. Um, but most of the time, what you're gonna do is have your favorite tool on the adapter, and then your crevice, large dusting brush upholstery tool, just hanging on back, and you can interchange them as well. As you can see, the floor tool does dock. Now this is your just basic Henry Compact, which means it just comes with a switchable floor tool with a mono wheel, again, made by Vissel Work. You have one brush, and then this retracts for an area rug. Now the switchable floor tool is excellent for hard floors, low pile area rugs without a lot of hair. If for some reason you had a lot of hair, a whole zoo, and a bunch of area rugs or low pile carpet, you can get what's called a Henry Extra, which is the same machine, but it comes with a rotating brush in the form of a turbine tool, which means this is air driven, 
but this is perhaps one of the better turbine tools you can buy. Henry's cord length is very long at 30 feet or 10 meters. As you can see, he makes it almost all the way down the hall to my bedroom. So very impressive cord length for such a small machine. One of the more oddly satisfying things about the Henry Compact is his manual cord rewind, which means you plug him in and then you can rewind him manually. This adds durability, but also make sure the cord is stored nicely on board, just like so. Very nice. They do have a Union Jack sticker to show it's made in Great Britain, which is one of the reasons why he's so well made, is he's not made in China or Malaysia. When he's plugged in, he has an indicator light to let you know he gets power, and he just has a simple on-off. There's also a carrying handle up here, a rubber bumper around the edges. The wheels have a nice rubber coating on them, and then your two casters up front, which also have a rubber coating. So no wor need to worry about him scratching your floor. To the in the shop part of the review, I have Henry all part. I'm gonna show you what's here. We have a heavy duty cord with uh, dual contacts for each uh, side of the electricity. That's good. Nice, thick, heavy duty switch. I like that. Um, the cord rewind runs on these wheels. That's kind of cool. Kind of test paint quality there. Now in here we have some batting. This is not filtration. This is intended uh, to quiet the motor. It's one of the reasons why Henry's are so quiet. Now the plastic is pretty tough stuff, whatever they use. And then they're using some sort of synthetic gasket. Uh, that doesn't look like that's gonna rot over time. So that's good. Now the motor, um, if I didn't tell you which one of these motors was the Henry motor and which one was the Mila motor, you might not know. They look very, very similar. Uh, this is a Lamb electric motor. Um, just looking for a country of origin. I don't see a country of origin on the motor stamped anywhere, uh, but presumably made in the UK on here. Very well made. And you can see the resin that's used in the metal fan case. And it looks like it is a pulp. It's a metal coated steel, it is a steel fan in there, huh? It's just painted or coated. Um, this is the exhaust of the Henry. Again, you see there's no exhaust filter on this model. They do have models with exhaust filters. Um, but very, very simple, just nothing to them. Now, if I pop this section off, we can see there's not even a circuit board in this, except there's probably a Trizac board in here, but man, this is just a simple, simple vacuum. Uh, I wish a lot of vacuums were made this simple. One thing I'd like to talk about Henry is his bag capacity. He has a very large high flow HEPA bag that doesn't lose suction. Let's test his suction. So about 75 sealed, almost 80. And about 44 inches of working vacuum. Now all of that, Henry in my house has been my basement vacuum, is out of essentially a full bag, which is really easy to change, self seals. You can see how big this bag is and how full the Henry bag was when we were testing it. Now, let's change that bag and see if there's a difference. And the bags do come nicely packaged, much like another company I won't name. And this just quickly fluffs like so, installs. And the, uh, the filter material here is very thick on the 160. Um, much thicker than it is on the James. It does filter very, very well. And we can see basically the same numbers with the new bag. So it's safe to say he's not gonna lose suction as you fill the bag. The bags are fairly economical as well, which I really like. 
And again, if we look at how big Henry's bag is, it's much bigger than a lot of other vacuums. A great example of the two bags side by side. Uh, you can see Henry's bag is basically twice the size. And there's still room in here for more debris. So we're gonna do a non-scientific test of a basic Henry HVR160. Based, no HEPA filter on this machine, but let's see how well it filters. We've got some smoke in the air already from the smoke machine, but let's see how he does. So we can see that Henry is not expelling any smoke. Despite the smoke machine not stopping smoking, but Henry filtered all the smoke out. Let's do a hard floor pickup test. We have fresh pet hair, flour, breakfast cereal, and cat litter. And we're going to use the standard tool that Henry comes with, with the brush in the down position. Well, you see that made short work of that. And the reason for that is Henry has a lot of power. This tool for hard floors is quite excellent. Now some hair will get stuck in this occasionally. So when you're done with Henry, the best thing to do with that is just to suck off the excess hair when you're done with Henry before you put him away. Now on to our carpet pickup test with our cat litter, flour, fresh pet hair, and breakfast cereal. We're going to use the standard switchable nozzle with the brush in the up position first, and then later followed by the turbo brush. Not bad for a vacuum with no rotating brush. There was a little bit of pet hair left behind. Uh, again, there's no rotating brush. It's not meant for soft pile carpet. The turbo brush did very well. It left a small piece of hair where the belt would be on the unit, but something you would have gotten on your second pass, no doubt. Uh, there was also a small, tiny piece of cat litter left behind as well with the turbo brush. But again, excellent carpet cleaning without a electric power brush. Now you've heard me talk about this a lot with other reviews is getting into low places, which the Henry just succeeds at with its long wand, its wonderfully angled attachment that allows you to control where you're going. It's perfect for getting under beds in really low places. And if you order a Henry Extra, don't you worry. The Turbo Tools also very good at getting in low places. One of the benefits of the compact Henry is that he fits on stairs very nicely. He can, is lightweight with that long cord. He goes up and down stairs very nicely. So I've got here a little bit of a mess. We're going to pick that up. And the stair tool is really kind of cool with Henry because it's a dusting brush. And then that slides off and becomes an upholstery tool. which works very, very well. And this basic upholstery tool with all the power that a Henry has does the job on most surfaces. However, you can buy an additional turbine tool with a spinning brush if necessary. Also, being able to use this as the crevice tool is super handy for corners of stairs as well. Let's get into some final thoughts on Henry Compact. 
and the HVR160 series in general. I think this is a great vacuum if you have hard floors, area rugs, and low pile carpet. Again, I'm not sure I'd recommend him for soft pile carpet because he is kind of hard to push. But if you ordered a Henry Extra with the turbo brush, that would alleviate some of that. So I couldn't rule him out in certain situations. I think because his retail is much less than a Mila Compact and his supplies are made from the same bag manufacturer and the tools are made from the same manufacturer that makes it for Mila, the savings you get with a Henry, I think is absolutely worth it. So really? if you don't have severe allergies and you have mild allergies and asthma, I think Henry would do it for you. He's not putting a lot of dust into the air. I think the compact nature of Henry makes him very convenient. His footprint is about the same as an upright vacuum, maybe a little less, just like the Mila. Um, so he really gives you a lot of things and he has a smiley face. So if you're not a curmudgeon, you can run him with a smiley face. I think the Compact Henry is a great size for an apartment, or small house, really anywhere where a 30 foot cord would give you plenty of reach. I also think he's very good at cleaning out cars as well. So with that all being said, I do recommend that you buy a Henry vacuum. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment, and like below.